Hello, I'm Anne Duggins Robson, and I'm here to tell you about my new body of work. Um, I've written in verse a story uh, for children ages between four and eight and for the grown up who read it to them. Um, I wrote the story about 25 years ago, so it's been a long time in the finishing all of it and illustrating it. Um, what brought it to a close, or to, or to where I am now, was I read the story to my sister, who was getting over a bout of chemotherapy for breast cancer. And she enjoyed it so much, um, she pressed me to do something with it, uh, illustrate it. And so I dedicated the book to her, because she died last year. The book is called Pirate Percy meets Lady Pamela Pinknouse. This is Lady Pamela Pinknouse. And this is Percy the Pirate. What I'm going to do is just read the fir first couple of verses to introduce you to the story. There are 60 illustrations in the book for the story. Percy used to be a pirate mouse, living on board a ship. But just now he was stranded, waiting for his next trip. He lived in the wainscoting, just down the hall. The hole behind the clock was well hidden, or he wouldn't have been there at all. Occasionally he slipped out and tiptoed to the rooms where three scruffy people ate sloppily with their spoons. Unseen, Percy scampered around the legs of their rickety chairs. They were ragged and untidy, with flaring nostrils and unruly, straggling hairs. The table was piled high with food, chips and chocolate cakes so sweet. They slobbered, chomped and stuffed, dropping goodies at their feet. One day, another little mouse came creeping down the hall. Percy poked his pointed nose out around the ticking clock. Who are you? He squeaked. She jumped with the shock. I'm all alone, she thought. A fat cat got my mum. And she won't be coming back because she is in his tum. Two large and shiny tears slipped down her pale and silken whiskers. And Lady Pamela Binkwells, and he also ate my sisters. I used to be a pirate mouse, bravely boasted he. We'll make that fat cat walk the plank, so forever you'll be free. That's the introduction to the book. And, and now I'll show you the cat and what happened to those mice. This is Bomber, the cat, and he's pretty bad. And he ate all those mice. And you can tell he's eaten all those mice, because if you unzip him, they mean he's tummy. All this can be seen at Studio 11 for the next three weeks, which is opposite Cliff's Pavilion. And if any of you are interested, um, you can get more information and pictures um, on Facebook, if you just go into the search on your Facebook, if you belong, and type in the Pink Mouse Gang.